Alright guys, we are back. We are playing Limbo and we are the G-I-R-L's. Girls. And I am Rachel. I am Princess Mash Patatas. And I am Cat Bunny. Cat Bunny is at the controls and she's figured it out. Well, so. I think we kind of figured it out together. Okay. The big squishy thing. Squishes no longer. Till next time. So we just have to jump on the little box in the middle. Oh! <laughs> oh <you> so bastard! <laughs> Fooled you! Yeah. Well, alright, so Let's see. this time we have to jump on a box. Right. This time we have to jump over the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, Look at the that little trapeze guy. artist. <laughs> Can I make it across? So pretty. I guess so. Oh. Oh god, the uh, blood arts. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, dear. oh, I didn't jump far. Enough. They look like the zombies in the plant versus zombies <laughs> yeah. with the helmet. Yeah. Alright, so unbox. And over the box. Oh, can you get them to run? That's what I was trying to do, but I missed. So I was going to try to get them to follow me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got <laughs> Sorry, you. guys. Oh. Alright, I think I have to get... I, I have to gradually get them all to make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Over the box. Alright. Over the spikes. Back over the spike. Oh, the rail. oh. <laughs> look at your, your arms were still moving like you were still running. Run, run away. I can do this. Oh, <laughs> man. On the box. <laughs> <laughs> over the box. Over the box. So under we, the box. we had um, been discussing nightmarish sorts of things. And um, I frequently. I think most of my nightmares, like very scary nightmares are about um, big fish. Not the movie. I actually I really like the movie. The we were movie. talking about the movie. No, I, I really like the movie, but actual fish scare me pretty badly. Do they? Yeah. You have you fish. fish. Those are little in fish. In your bedroom. You oh, have fish, fish in your bedroom. It's only one fish now. Um, you were talking about like, like, okay. Some, even what some. What size fish? Even some large aquarium fish will start to worry me. But... In what um, way? Like, you think they're going to harm you in some no, way? No. No. They just creep there's, me there's out. There's something creepy about them. Yeah. I, I, th I think mm. they are monsters. Um, but I will frequently have dreams that I don't quite consider nightmares. Because they're... I mean, they're uncomfortable, but they're really interesting. And I don't... They don't, like, scare me. Um, but I will frequently have dreams where um oh uh, okay <laughs> um well I have to do something else first right. there's another rope up there yeah. Yeah. yeah uh I will have dreams where there are aliens and the aliens somehow control zombies and um it's like they're like legit alien takeover. See, but then that's my crush. Oh. <laughs> oh, but that was so worth it. Uh, oh, oh, nice. Jeez, that was kind of brutal. Yeah. So they're alien takeover dreams with zombies. Hmm. Um, and fish. Usually not in the same dream. Hmm. Okay, so I have to do something to disable that first. But sometimes it worries me because they are a very recurring thing. So, uh. Yeah. That I would know. worry me too. <laughs> Usually my, like, recurring dreams have to do with tornadoes. And tornadoes represent stress in my life and the amount of stress in my uh -huh. life. And the more tornadoes, the more stress. And, like, there have been times in my life, especially when I was younger, where it was just. Constant tornado constant, dreams. Constant, like not even, like the, the, tor the tornado dreams. There was just hundreds of tornadoes in the dream. Oh wow! Um, and it was, and most of the time in those dreams, I'm trying to protect one of my cats. Mm -hmm. I have yet to have had a dream 
now about it now that I've had a child where I'm trying to protect my daughter. That's so scary. And so, so maybe I have to climb up. Um, I sometimes, sometimes there are storm dreams, but frequently with the alien takeover, something happens where, um, buildings start to fall down, mm -hmm. like in the downtown area and stuff like that, so that's always kind of scary. All right, so... Oh, oh, climb, more climb faster. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm gonna have, this is a time thing, so, okay, I see what I have to do. I think I have to push that there so I can just jump down onto it instead of climbing down. Let me pull it a little bit more. That'd be a good spot. That'll be a good spot. Don't Will keep it keep going. moving? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, it's good there. I think it's right. good there. There's like a little thing I'll like roll that. Roll away all these things. <laughs> Alright, go. Alright, so. Can I do so. this? Fast, fast, fast. You can actually climb pretty faster than the thing. Okay. So let me. I know, I'm being careful. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to give myself more time to go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All the planning for nothing. If you could get a little faster, you could probably pull it again from oh. like if the bucket oh. was pulled all the way over um, to where it stops, oh. you could jump on it and grab the rope again from the bottom side oh, and reset you it. You are so smart. <laughs> That's what I keep trying to tell everybody. <laughs> There we go. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, I think I think it might work this time. Good test, mashed potatoes has a very, very, very valid point. And this is why. This is what happens. Whoever is playing tends to be the one who like gets at least a college in the Go, 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 go. Oh, so close. Alright, I just have to drop down. I think I can drop yeah. down without getting hurt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop down. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it this time. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I'm getting too excited. So. Okay, go over here. Drop down. Jump. Go, go, go! Go! Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Sorry, guys, who all you guys watching <laughs> me just do this over and over again. <laughs> you know, that just makes for a great watching. Right, movie. right. Um, so, Princess Magic Tatas, let's, let's talk about your alien fear in depth a little bit more. Um, well, so, I, it's, it's an ongoing thing it's ever since I was little. My um, mother once tried to cure it by <laughs> forcing me to watch E.T. That movie's and so then good. buying me an E.T. doll Aww. that she forced me to leave on my shelf, the very tall <laughs> shelf, overlooking my bed. Ah! Um, <laughs> so close. No. Oh, God damn it. God! <laughs> <laughs> So you had to leave the E.T. Yeah. doll by your and bed. And it was like one of those that it had like a red spot mm -hmm. over its heart. And if like you hugged it, fingers. did it light up? I, I, I did not hug it. Oh. I do not know. <laughs> so it would be there on the high shelf that I could not reach to get down. And it would just stare at me as I tried to sleep. And it was terrifying. One night I even ended up with hives. And she tried to... <laughs> She tried to blame it on strawberries. She tried to take strawberries no, away from mommy, me. It's ET. But I knew it was ET because I thought that my bed moved and I thought ET was trying to kidnap me. Oh god, that's fantastic. So I finally made her take it away. Mm -hmm. And what she did is she put it in a garbage bag with some and she took all my stuffed animals and put them down in the basement. Why and did she so take all of them? She took I don't know. I'm sure there. I was kind of a jerk also about the whole thing because I was a pretty <laughs> awful only child. Uh, I mean, so it's not all her fault. I'm sure I was a total ass. Uh. Um, but, yeah, so she took it and put it down in the basement, and then I was terrified to go down the basement. Yay! Yay! So you knew it was in the basement. So I, I knew it was in the basement. 
Yeah, so I knew it was in the basement, and I was terrified to go in the basement. When oh. previously, the basement was kind of like my play area. Mm-hmm. And my, it doesn't make childhood it sounding terrible. No, I like it. <laughs> but I used to play down in the basement a lot. That's mm-hmm. where my Rainbow Bright toys were, and I had like a little kitchen set up for my Cabbage Patch Kids, mm-hmm. and I couldn't use it anymore once I, I knew I, ATD was down there. I don't know if I trust this. I don't trust that at all. It's... Oh! Them. I can slow myself down. Oh, goodness. This is... You got a little glow bug. I can Ding. still kind of control myself. If I force is it. it... Is it, like, making the controls... Oh, will they get it? Will they pull it out of your head? It's making... It, it, it kind of takes over the controls. Oh. Oh, God. Let's see if those things can pull it out of your head. It's forcing me back. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> What's gonna happen? No. It's forcing me back. Oh, okay. Drowned you. Oh. But, uh, how do I? Oh god, god, I'm like, like all freaked out again. All right, let's see if we can uh, survive the the wiggly the, thing. The brain eating glow it, bug. It reminds me of oh, the oh, wiggly thing oh. of the. Showering with your dad? No. Episode? No. <laughs> oh, it does kind of remind me. I guess. Of the Pixelady, Pixelated P9. That's not really what I was thinking, but now <laughs> I can't P9? stop thinking of that, so. You can't stop thinking of Pixelated P9? Well, just the hanging part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think we're going to leave next it there. Time. Next time. Yep, next time. Thanks cool. for watching, guys. I'm Cat Bunny. I'm Rachel. And I'm Princess Mashed Patatas. Hi. P9. <laughs> Wiggly thing. I come home in the morning light. My mother yells when you're gonna live your life right. Oh, mother dear, we're not the fortunate ones. And girls, they wanna have fun. Oh, girls, they wanna have fun.